Hi guys, it's Michelle here. I am testing, so I might be sounding a little bit odd, a new uh, camera and a new way of recording in the hopes that this will make my life a little bit easier so I can show you guys a few things that I've been doing and also then I can do a few of the tutorials that you've requested. Um, in the past I've been recording on a camera that didn't, I couldn't see what I was recording so sometimes when I, you know, the project just kind of wandered off and you couldn't see it. Uh, I didn't want to do some tutorials like that, I thought that would be a bit of a pain so by doing it this way I'm hoping that um, I'll be able to show you what I'm doing and it'll all make a bit better sense. So um, I've got my fingers crossed that this is going to be the answer. And so today I'm going to show you a little mini file folder mini that I've made and uh, I've made it out of some manila folders, just some standard manila folders that you get at the office supply shop and I've um, also cut some of them up into tags that I did with the Tim Holtz die, uh, tag die, so love that, and um, used that all through the book. So apart from the file folders, the other thing that I've used is a digital download, which came from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and I'm going to put all the links down below so that you can go and visit as well. This is one of the, this is the latest kit I think, and it's Steamtown Spring, which I thought was just so pretty to have a little bit of the steampunk with these beautiful colours. So it's got um, yellows and mustards in this teal, which is um, currently one of my new favourite colours, and so I dressed up to match today, put the ring on to go with it. So um, yeah, nice simple cover, I have just um, fussy cut-ish, you know, my fussy cutting's not, you know, professional standard, but fussy cut the lady out because I liked her so much I wanted her on the cover, and then this gorgeous frame that's in the background is one of the freebies that comes on Ephemera's Vintage Gardens uh, blog, so if you go to her blog and sign up you can get a newsletter which gives you free free um, images and also she has these lovely lovely images for you so um, well worth going and having a visit because uh, if you're like me you know, I know you love the downloads so I've just put that onto uh, the uh, background here is the cover and so this kit comes and you could use it as a easily use it as a journal and that is the uh, the cover that is suggested with the kit and it's designed so that you've got that piece that would work very easily as a, a fold as the spine and then but I decided I want to just add a little bit of a little bit of something different on the front and that's why I used here and a little prima flower which I just thought the colour went perfectly well. I'm looking for and I can't find some cogs so I might add some cogs in the future. So I made the the size to fit so the the journal, the pages come as an easy printout of a 6x4 and so I've made the pages 6 and a half by 4 and a half so that everything just sits in really nice and easily. And there's that beautiful colour again that I've fallen in love with, this fabulous teal colour. So I've made um, this spread out of all this beautiful rich colour and this page here I just split through the middle and glued this down here with a U to create a pocket and then this solidly is picked up here. This is one of the free images, isn't it just darling? And I love the um, top hat there, so I thought that that went really well with the steampunk lady. And I made a little booklet like my friend Alan B makes. I thought they were so cute, so I used uh, some of the download images there. And then a little uh, petal envelope with some squares that you can easily write some stories or put some photos in, so that all tucks in the pocket. Um, the way I folded the file folder creates a nice big pocket at the top here. So if you haven't seen this, I just made this up so I don't know if anyone else has done it or done a tutorial on it, but if you haven't and you want to know how to do it, let me know and I'll just put together another one. So in the nice big top pocket I've made like a big library pocket that I made out of the file folder put on the back one of the images from Ephemera's Vintage Garden and then again some more images. This one is just a, a tag that I've done with the Kaisercraft stamp there and then all the other images come from um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. I thought her, um, I've got a bit of a lettering thing and I'm really into calligraphy at the moment so I thought that the Steamtown Spring word there was really cute so I used that as a little um, notation so I know what it is and I can um, keep that and I just I just as I said just like the writing I'm gonna do a book soon and a journal and it's gonna be all uh, on writing <laughs> it's just another one on the list 
this is a, another gorgeous page so again the paper as I said with these lovely colors and then I just tucked a tag in so that is just a tag like that that I folded like so and stuck that piece there down and then put the paper over it so you don't see it and that just creates a I thought really fun bit a little bit of extra space and I found I love this this is one of my favorite images look at him the cutest little yellow bird sitting on the on the vehicle there isn't that darling and then just the little paper clips I found I thought they couldn't believe the color it was so perfect so one of the little images again from the get comes with the kit lots of little extras with this kit um, and then in here, this is the uh, where the two file folders join. So in here again, I've got a nice big space for a nice big pocket. And so tucked in here, I made a little book, kept that one really plain so there's space for photos and writing. And then in here, another little library style pocket that I made out of a tag and another one of those images, which are, it's very lush imagery in this kit actually, I have to say. And um, more gorgeousness. These are again downloads from the blog so fabulous images all over the place here. Tuck him back in there so I don't lose him. And another tag there which I really liked and more I mean the I just thought this was so cute. I like the way the yellow bird just flows through and another tag and then a little ticket that I tucked on there. Another one of the big pockets at the top here. And this one, put one of the images on the front. This image here is, again, from Vintage um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. That's from her um, blog. And then in here, I've put another tag with another one of those lovely Kaiser Craft stamps. I think there was four in the set, and I got two of them. So I really might need to go and look and see if I can find the rest of them, actually. And you'll notice I missed a little bit on the stamping, but never mind. Um, and then that's part of another image from one of the pages. That's actually there. I used the bottom for something else so I kept the top and made that into a, a tag. So this, this is actually I thought could be um, quite a good size as a brag book because it is four and a half by six and a half and by keeping it as flat as this you could put this into your bag so if you do have lots of pictures that you'd like to take around um, again more imagery just lots of luscious images that you could right on the back and put pictures etc. Another little one of those little booklets kept it on the inside but look at that so cute. Am I still recording? Yes I am I've just lost my um, screenshot that is a shame never mind nothing ever works quite properly. Uh, another one of those gorgeous downloads from the blog and then this comes with the kit so that's a little um, pocket that comes and then you just fold it together and create that image and more of these lovely little tags lots and lots of ephemera so if you're like me and you like lots of ephemera you'll be pleased with what you get in this kit. A little tag there, another little goodie, another pocket Look at those aren't they sweet and then um, another look at this little dinky die envelope and in here I put the beehive had to put the beehive in there just for you Ellen so gorgeous little envelope and again that gorgeous gorgeous color up here it's just nice details on this I like that key Big fat C, did I show you this guy? What I did with all the extras that was left over, because there was quite a lot of it, was I thought I'll keep it all together and keep it all in, in, um, in the book, so when I come to put pictures in or write in, I've got it all together. So that's why I'll show you what I mean, because there is so many goodies that can be used from, uh, from the kit and also, as I said, from the blog. And then I just did a little tag there. So all these little bits here come from... Ephemera's Vintage Garden and then you can use them on either all on one project like I did or you can spread them around. The great thing of course which I love being in New Zealand is that I don't have to pay postage so <laughs> that's the great thing about vintage, uh, about digital digital downloads. No postage and no waiting because I'm not very patient. And then I put lots of little tucks in here. So this was, this paper here is the um, 
is, is bigger so you could use it as a lining for your cover if you wanted to do a journal but I thought it would be fun to make it into a flap and have, have it an extra pocket so I've put more as the um, images and I did have to do two beehives so that's all the images tucked in there and again that's where my lovely lady came from and I just loved her so I had to put her there oh and I've got to put some wording there. I'm going to put the end or goodbye or something. I'm going to put a little tag there. So, And then that's the back of the book. So that, my friends, is my mini file folder mini. If, As I said, if you haven't seen the one before and um, you want to know how to put it together, it's really, really easy. Very, very easy. A couple of file folders and um, some scissors and some ink and you've got one. It's all go. A bit of glue probably would help as well. So uh, let me know how you like that. And I need to come back and see you guys again soon um, with some more projects. I have give you a sneak peek, sneak peek of my um, latest journal. So that is uh, very luscious and um, can't decide what to do with it because I had a plan with it, but I slightly fallen in love with it. So I oh, don't know what I'm going to do with it now. So I will show you that and I have been playing with paper and altering lots of paper so I'll have to come back and tell you all about that soon too. Hope you're all well, thanks for visiting and I'll see you soon. Bye now.